From the restart, tremendous work. Thailand Eight really do look like a handful. One or two players in the B squad who. Away from getting the call up. But this Thailand Eight team performing beautifully at the moment. Bangladesh just not quite able to stay with them but Bangladesh did have a surprise for Thailand and again highly contestable restarts and that's been reclaimed again by Thailand so gives you an indication of the level of skill that Thailand do possess Fairly one sided result. Thailand A trotting away. And this, of course, was well, the day was nice and sunny and looking fantastic.
And here he is. Mismatch out wide and not just a mismatch. Totally outclassed.
very, very nicely indeed. Good vigour, good intensity, good accuracy, crisp passing. And now we've got the hosts at 7-0 with the ball in hand. And they had them dead to rights in the first half, there's no doubt about it. Now, we're starting to hear a little, see a little bit of that famous Singapore touch. Make its way into the Phuket Sevens on the outside. Can he unload? He can. Can't quite get going. Good change of direction though, and it's very slippery out there, you can tell. Ball is there. Great timing though by the Thai defender. They drive the ball carrying Nation back. The ball might even be there for them. And Thailand take the penalty. Well, they needed that, and they need to get on with it, and they stay on the job. Now, what's happening? Spot tackle almost. <laughs> He's just hauled that one away. Now, takes one, takes two, drops the ball. Referee blows it up. Well, I need to do better than that. Coach Reichenbuller will be... Well, he can't say he'd be livid, but he won't be particularly happy. Seventeen seven now, New Zealand over Scotland and Singapore. That's right, for all you Scottish fans, normal service has resumed. Where they come again. Singapore up to the line. Looking for the space here. They've been elusive in the middle there. What a great driving tackle by Thailand. Now they wind it wide. Singapore, one out the back door. They've not found the speed, the centering kick. Well, potentially not since the 70s. Have they seen a centering kick at the Phuket Sevens? And that is it, well, put that one in the vintage book of plays. Because that one, ladies and gentlemen, comes from the old school. My word. A centering kick finish. I haven't seen, we like, they'll be talking about this one potentially for hours to come in the bars and club rooms across Asia as Singapore moved now to a 14-0 lead over Thailand A. Eh? And let's just size this one up initially. They came towards the main grandstand. Then, after some fairly persistent defence, Thailand left one flank open and then they were really put to the sword with the old fashioned centering kick. Well, I don't think since black and white TV have we seen centering kicks.
Thailand defending. Time slipping away for the locals. Minute 30 now to pull in 15 points. Oh, it's not undoable in sevens. But it grows increasingly unlikely. And look at this. Look at this tremendous work. from Singapore, who, sensing a victory here, are willing just to let it all hang out. And that's great work. Shut down a massive threat there. They've taken the penalty on board, though, Singapore. But it's been adequate enough to remove a margin of time from the Thai side. And now they will have to... That's a great tackle as well. Didn't release will be the call. And they'll be going to the books to put the tick very squarely beside the name Singapore. And the Lion City roars. Here in Phuket. As it's very much looking like two up, two down. Marak Ishraf says, yes, Deckers with the kick. Well, Marak. I'm with you, brother. Deckers has kicked an absolute beauty. There's the final hooter. All we need now is the ref to make it final and official. And that can't be far away. At 14 points to nil, the ball is theirs. Out she goes. Game over. Two wins for Singapore at the Phuket Sevens, and they ebb closely. They step closer to the points of the Asia Rugby Sevens trophy. Defeating Thailand, a 14 points to nil. And so the locals. They understand what it's like now. Singapore, Chinese Taipei. Are they going to be the two this weekend? Who knows? Or will this Thailand A side be stung back into action? Stand by. Let's find out. Up next. Full time and official 14 0. Singapore defeating Thailand A.
back live with the Phuket Sevens. You're watching the Asia Rugby Sevens Trophy in game two for both of these sides, Chinese Taipei in the blue and white and the outside line and the go forward. Can he find somebody? They get there in the end. Slippery conditions, ladies and gentlemen, after torrential downpour or just, well, an early, a late morning tropical shower, I guess some would say. It was pretty heavy, so heavy they had to suspend play. But we've been back now for one game already. If you've only just joined us, Singapore have just defeated Thailand A. What a magnificent conversion that was. Singapore registering their second win of the tournament and starting to place themselves now as contenders for the final. And here could be the guys that are joining them. Chinese Taipei with their opening try and the conversion, seven points to nil against Bangladesh. If you've not seen Bangladesh play before, and I certainly have not, other than the first time they're out here today. I feel quite privileged to see another Asian nation playing that I've never seen before. We've well, certainly seen these Chinese Taipei guys play, and they can ball. Second try now for Chinese Taipei, and well, it's a learning experience for the Bangladesh players. You've got to start somewhere, though, don't you? Another conversion. 14 points to nil. I don't want it to sound like Bangladesh have got no sharp teeth in their team. They certainly have one or two boys that really can motor and somewhat resembles a Sri Lankan side. It's that beautiful, balanced, free-flowing running, and they can really move. But these heavy conditions, it'll be interesting to see how they adapt to that. Sodden underfoot, it's not ideal footing for lightweights. And don't get me wrong, Bangladesh can scamper. He might try and step his way through, and he does. Slices them like a knife. Chinese Taipei go up 19 points to nil, kick to come. And perhaps one or two of the Bangladesh players who really are struggling defensively with their backs to the wall. It's a tough game. Well, I shouldn't say that actually. It's actually a difficult level of the game. 21 points to nil now. It is bona fide international rugby. And it is the seventh format. And it takes some getting used to. Some players take naturally to it. Others take their time. So what might be very doable at club level 
for some of these guys becomes very difficult at this level. Bangladesh with the ball. They try to secure. Chinese kind of Taipei come over, rip the lid off it, take it away, but lose it forward. Here we go. Even for these guys, there's some work on. Just need to work on the quads, by the way. The quads look fine. The big heave. Bangladesh. <laughs> I don't know whether you would be criticising him for that tactic or not. If that line was up, if he'd snuck it through, there would have been four hurrying on for Bangladesh. And looking for the guy out wide, and he stutter step, and he, that is his thing. The Chinese Taipei, they would have read him in the first half, or the first time out, and made a point of that. The man out wide for Bangladesh... He'll go the stutter step, and then he'll go the full gas. And you don't want him to get anywhere near full gas, the man on the right-hand side of the picture there. If he starts approach and go, you want to shut him down as quick as you can because that might be the last time you touch him. 21 points over nil. It's Chinese Taipei leading Bangladesh here in the Phuket Sevens. Back live, second half action, Bangladesh with the restart. Uh, Chinese Taipei, <coughs> excuse me, the opening try of the second half. After what looked like going out in the fault for Bangladesh, giving Chinese Taipei the opportunity to strike back immediately. And when I say strike back immediately, I mean score a try off the kickoff. And hey, presto.
Back live after the commentator's lunch. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you in my time in the trade, once commentators offered lunch, the chances of it being refused are about the same as finding chicken's teeth. Thailand A versus Thailand B at the moment, A and the all gold strip. Wonderful yellow, blue and navy. The B team with the ball at the moment. It's sitting second with nil. Thailand A already five points up. And ball in hand looking pretty threatening. Moving the ball wide, looking for some space now. There she is. Weapon number one. Great ball off. She'll be there in support again. Straight down was the call. Good hassling defence. From Thailand B. And they'll know each other fairly well, these two sides. Just not quite enough time, half a second more and might have got the hands around that ball properly, but Thailand been out. They look like they want to try and exit. These are change being made by the A squad. Just about through the middle, Thailand B. Pass doesn't quite manufacture any more go forward than that. <laughs> Reset again, but the play stops. And Thailand A now will give the opportunity, ball in hand, to add to their five points. Two minutes remaining in this first half. Let's take a quick update from the Singapore Sevens. If you're watching here in Phuket, you will be pleased tonight. In Argentina defeating Wales 24-7. Game of progress so far on top of England. 19 points to nil as the Thai player, or well, the Thai A player, puts a foot in touch. Potential scoring move. Look at this. Tried to yeah, put pretty clearly on the line. Okay, match 13 in Singapore, the Singapore Sevens on the World Series. Pool B clash between England and Samoa. Samoa leading 19 points to nil here at the Phuket Sevens. And the Phuket Invitational for Women's. Thailand A versus Thailand B. And up next, Fresh from the Rose Garden, the Briars. From Sydney, making their debut in Phuket. Now, it's all like they don't get rain in Australia. They certainly get rain in Sydney. But would they have seen anything like the rain we saw earlier today in Thailand in for their second try.
conversion from wide out. Plenty of foot on it, there's no doubt about that. Manrak. Now we're coming. One of the states women of Sevens Rugby in Asia. Just recall names like Nakamura from Japan. She was masterful. Could control games. Certainly had her team worth her all the way. Mm. Matsaya Banrak is very much cut from a similar cloth. Thailand, try number one. Missed that one. That was an opportunity gone begging. Spreading the ball out nice and wide for the pace. There is a problem. There is a problem with pace and that there's no substitute for it. Samoa still leading in, 19 points to nil. Game 13 in Singapore. Meanwhile, here at the Phuket Sevens Invitational for Women, Thailand A. Taking stock of... Thailand B. And if anything, Thailand A. And just perhaps not being ruthless enough with their B counterparts. We'll find out though because of the next. Wee period of time, six and a half minutes in fact, I'm expecting to see Thailand really, or Thailand A really open up the throttle and put it on this B team selection. So you've been doing absolutely no favours at all by your team. Continue to score out wide. And again. Plenty of foot on it. Working to find the outside channel and cover the fence gets there, but not in time. Thailand A. Taken well by the A side and he's run, run out of real estate. Over on the lanes on the far side, just in front of the jets boards. Maybe she had too many jets. Maybe that was her problem. Too many jets in those feet. Thailand B get up, Thailand A get the ball. And isn't that always the way? B's do the work, A's get the ball. Came off the body that, now they just need to secure this. No. Mm. 
curious interpretation by the referee, but right. Referee was absolutely right. Oh, that's good work. And that was a huge tackle. And there's a second grade tackle from Thailand A. And that's one of the things anybody that's watched the Asia, Asia 7 series over the last half dozen years can tell you that for free. When it comes to tackling, Thailand women are the pound for pound champions. They don't get any smaller and they don't hit any harder. I'm pretty sure Albert Einstein would have found them very, very curious indeed. And the rules of physics simply do not seem to apply to the Thai women when it comes into putting their bodies into contact. And there's an extra two points for all your hard work. And this live fire trial, there we go. The push off, the run past, and finally, the place, the place is Phuket. That is the place to be, ladies and gentlemen. If you, uh, get, if you have earned yourself a good old fashioned holiday, and let's be honest, pretty much everybody has Thailanders. Thailand B. On the A side, it's starting to show a bit of condition here. Above and beyond that of Thailand B. The kick for touch, 22 points to nil. And this AVB match between the two Thai squads. Man. It's going to be interesting to see from this Thai B group. Which ladies are in the call to that high performance program? Lottie Rocker and Buller, the master chef or the master coach, he will be looking on with interest at some of these young players. He's potentially seen something there that he really likes. Set about developing it. You can't develop this though. Look at this. Runs round with ease. I think the moment this girl hits the Asian Games for Thailand, she is going to cause quite a stir if she hasn't already. And the track and field community of Thailand shone a very bright light on a pathway to international sport. Why word, she's fast. Time is up and a win for Thailand A, 27 to nil over Thailand B. And look again at the star of the show and it doesn't matter, matter whether you're watching the boys code or the girls. This young lady is one to watch.
Righto, up next, a very interesting game. Fascinating even. As from Australia, making their way to the Phuket Sevens. Final and official that score, 27-0. A's over B's. And from Sydney, Briars, a sports club, formed in 1918. So, post-World War I. And when they say they're a sports club, the Briars, look at that. Great work in there. <laughs> Love it. Head back. Toe spread. Giving it the cheese, the beans, the full feeling. The Briars, they compete in a range of sports in Sydney, including rugby union, cricket, hockey, hockey netball, squash. Have over 2,000 players across senior and junior teams. The Briars, and here they come making their debut in Phuket. They've been under wraps for a long time, some of these girls, three months without any significant training. A little time to work at it. And they come out against the United Arab Emirates in their first game of International Sevens. As I mentioned earlier today, it's not 100%. Bryce, they have reached out to three or four other clubs in Sydney to bolster their strength and bring the numbers and ultimately be more competitive for the teams here this weekend. Well, <laughs> yep, I've done the same thing myself. I got a few occasions as the UAE find the line and they rumble over. So, a bit of a soft one. Early on for the Briars as they let the UAE in for the first try, five points to nil. Now, regards to the Briar women's rugby program, formed in 2018, so a hundred years after forming the club, the women's rugby teams were formed at the Briars Clubs, and that's just uh, catching everybody a little bit of sleep. Well, fully asleep. Briars now. Unlucky. Ball gets spilled out the side. Five minutes remain in this first half. Debutants to the tournament. Briars Women's Rugby of Sydney. I might have to find out whether this is uh, true location wise, but I think, off the top of my head, I don't know Sydney that well, but are we out towards the Concord part of town? Famous Concord Oval. I'm sure the followers in the chat can put me right or wrong. Well, there you go. That's clearly the... That's the wrong channel to run up. Whoops-a-daisy. So, that pretty much... <laughs> And now it's the Bri Briars girls are in town. Now they're starting to move the ball around a bit. Look out. Here comes some of that natural Australian confidence. And 
Well, slow mo just shows the breakdown. It wouldn't want to show the tackle. Might give other people bad ideas. So you'll be mindful of running down that channel in the future. Anyone from the UAE or in fact anyone in Phuket related to the tournament or not. Here's a chance out wide. And full gallop. Brought down, looking for some support. Found the support and found more support. And now needs some support. Well, penalty for the Briars here. So they won't say they're riding their luck, but you make your own luck. We all know that. That was lost fairly clearly. And some changes being made. And I would have thought there's probably one very big change that's been made. UAE with the ball. UAE looking to push wide. There's the handoff. Now she gets about her business. The second one goes out there, but it goes nowhere. And in the green grass and the mud, she gets thrown over the sideline. The Briars with the ball now. They play quick. They play fast. Seeking the ball, the UAE. Well, how did she do that? That's true. Women can multitask. There's the ball there for the Briars if they want it. Referee said the ball was open. It was available. Here come the UAE. They try and get wide. Going with the long paw technique. On they go now, the UAE. Briars. Well, I know they went on some team bonding over the last couple of days. The Briars, potentially some of that making its way out onto the sacred turf of Sakural Station, of Sakural Stadium. Now the UAE, well, they might have had a chance here if they kept their footing. They still might have a chance here, in fact. That was a dummy pass. And that is a try. So on the stroke of half time. UAE go in for their second with the conversion to come. 12 0 at the moment. They lead the Briars. Half time, UAE 12, Briars 0. Okay, not out of it yet. Three tries will bring them straight back in the mix. Two converted tries, well, that could start it. Well, that could start a fire. Here's the half time break 12 0, UAE over the Briars.
Second half kicks off here at the Phuket Sevens Invitational. Playing in the Maroon and Gold Strip from Sydney, the Briars taking on national team UAE, the United Arab Emirates. First time out of the box. For the Briars. And really must take the hat off to the Thai Rugby Union who have come in and moved a lot behind the scenes to have the side here this weekend. So first of all, it's fantastic that the Briars girls have been able to give up their time and come to Phuket, trying conditions to come and experience uh, one of the world's great tropical resorts. But you know, it's tough work and someone's got to do it. And these ladies have certainly shown up. And they might just show out too. If they can keep it running forward like they are here. Along the ground, as long as it goes to the hand, it's a good pass, isn't it? Paul? There's a bit of, there's a bit of, <laughs> yes, you can tell the Aussies are here. I would have thought she was too tired to say anything after that, but I was wrong. Very wrong. And I have been wrong before when it comes to women. So, changes being made for the Briars. They keep spinning them around. The UAE holding a fairly firm 12 point lead. Let's take a look there. There was an advantage being played. And Bryce, we've certainly got a fair amount of possession here in the second half. UAE managed to get the ball back. They've lost it again, they have right. Searching for Well, just an opportunity to get some clear some clear space. Bryce skipper. Claire Wilmington, Wilmington, I should say, uh, from the Buranier Club. Also played some rep sevens. In the Aon Uni Sevens competition. And we also watched it for Jade Swarby. Uh, from the Renegades in Sydney, uh, whose partner is playing this weekend for Australia in the Singapore Sevens. Speaking of the Singapore Sevens, what's been happening on the Singapore Sevens has all been happening. We'll update you shortly. In fact, we'll update you now. Jade Swarby will be happy to hear that her partner's team, Australia, is leading Spain. 26 points to 12 in match 14. As they stop out wide for another breakdown. Or an injury break. That looks sore. That looks sore. Oh, yep. 
<clears throat> potentially it could be a broken arm or something similar. It doesn't look um, particularly good, does it? You can sort of see. All right. Well, that looks pretty good. That's okay. Well, thankfully, I thought it would. Well, you sort of lead to conclusions, don't you? You think the worst about everything when it comes to that. And she's come reeling out of the scrum. Less than happy with life. And the result is going to be she'll be hoisted aloft. After being strapped. Right? The sit up. The sit he's only the sit up means a clenched fist there. Generally, this means I'm going to get up. You can take your board and you can do something else with it because now I'm going to walk off. So that looks like it hurts. That looks like it hurts a lot. And all this really means is that I'm going to be wearing a sling at the beach tomorrow. See you there, girls. Well, unfortunate. Hopefully is just a dislocation. And I say just a dislocation, like a dislocation doesn't hurt. But still, once again, The game continues, the Briars ball in hand, 12 points adrift now. No time on the clock, although there would have been some injury time. We're certainly under the ref's interpretation of time. And as always, it'll be unique, but as always, it'll be correct. Interception. Got by the coattails, they've dragged it down. Now they need the ball, the Briars, they're not going to get it. Oh, look wide, the UAE, there's no one to go any further to. Ball to the ground. Pressure on from the Briars. Tries to get around the outside, there's no getting around the outside. There is getting around the outside. Oh, <laughs> what about that one? Oh, snake hips out wide. She's fired them in there for good luck and they've come up a charm. How did she make room out of absolutely nothing at all? Look at that. I'll be fascinated to see how that works in slow motion replay. That's a conversion. And we're off. It's a piggyback race. They might as well be padding. Now let's have a look. How's she done this? Oh, I didn't quite get it. But she sold the inside swerve there. Uh, and if she can sell it like that, she can sell ice to Eskimos as far as I'm concerned. There was no going down there at all. I was pretty sure there was a Briars player and a sideline and a puddle full of mud. And somehow she stepped around all three. Fascinating. Briars now with the ball. Briars now with some clear air. Oh! Eventually, track down, but that's it. That's it. Look, you train all week. That's what you train all week for. <laughs> Just a little bit slow with the release. And when I say just a little bit slow, I mean, like, really, just miss the count. One, two, three, four, yeah. You know, immediately. It's kind of means, how long is it? Well, it's immediately. Oh, look out, look out, look out again. Look, the way she throws that in there, this player. I'm starting to question whether 
she might be part for Jen. It's like she fires out the time warp there, and everyone takes the bait, hook, line, and sinker. It's creepy. It is creepy when you see people run like that and the ball goes in to touch the UAE. <laughs> well, I mean, you want to you do as the ref says, really, don't you? <laughs> I don't think I've seen too many. Hang on. Wait on. What's he done now? Called for line out. Right. And once again, the referee, absolutely right. So, good looking throw from the UAE. It's picked up by the UAE, and someone, I think, from the UAE is going to hustle this one into touch, and that should just about be all she wrote, and it is. The Briars start at a National Rugby Union. Starts off with a loss to the UAE, but guess what? Girls, they got started. Congratulations. Welcome to the Phuket. Welcome to the Phuket Sevens Women's Invitational. Wonderful to have them there. Congratulations, to UAE. On a win, 19 points to nil over Briars, or the Briars, of good old Sydney Town. Final official, 19 points to nil. Up next. <laughs> Here's a humdinger. Ready for a start, time on, it's Thailand A taking on UAE in the Asia Rugby Sevens Trophy here at the Phuket Sevens. Quick update as we go from the Lion City, Singapore, it's the HSBC World Sevens Series match 15 in progress at the moment. Update score 12-0, the USA leading Canada. Game 14, Australia accounted for Spain 28-12. England went down to Samoa 31-5. And Wales lost to Argentina 24-7 in match 12. Currently, match 15, Pool A clash. USA v Canada, USA leading 12-0. Here in Phuket at the Phuket Sevens. One win, one loss so far for Thailand. In fact, Thailand A, as they take on the UAE, and they're going to run in some points early on the UAE. The UAE left clutching it. Well, it's shadows, to be honest. The wee man out wide, he found the mismatch. He conned the two big men together and left enough room out wide for a good, strong finish. Thailand A kicked the scoreboard off. 5-0 with a kick to come. So 5-0 is the score. Here we look at this. Beautiful ball in two hands, kids. If you're watching this at home. It can work for anybody, anywhere, at any time. Ball in two hands. 
What's he going to do? What's that ball carrier going to do? That's the question. You just want to put that moment of hesitation into the defender's head and then you've got an advantage. Only a moment. Only takes a moment. And it's knowing the moment to take. Ball into your hands. That's the rule. UAE, they lead off again. And Thailand restart was pretty poor, and there's a penalty. And I know watching back in Sydney, my old friend Trent Eagle, ex Wellingtonian, lifelong. What is he? No, Trent, give me his P. I got that right? I got that wrong. All those years ago, I can't remember. I think rugby was a black and white TV when you and I were playing rugby union, my friend. And Trent Eagle from the Briars Club. And a colleague, David, who's set up the women's program. Well, they've done a great thing for women's rugby in Sydney by getting those girls ready and getting them here. Thailand A now, sniping. Well, you'll just, there's no arms in that, referee. He's not applied, he's not applied an arm to it. And you'd be right to sit down and maybe look complainingly at the referee and just question the whole technique there because he's come in and you'd have to just say that was lazy. Not only was it was lazy, but um, it was illegal. And so away he goes without causing any more problems. And our man here, who was at no time seriously injured, has a small shows. He's got marvellous hair too. I mean, that's a tremendous job by the hairdresser. Why well, well, can't they get mine like that? Restart for play, two and a half minutes gone, five points to nil. It is Thailand A with all the pressure on the UAE. Now, there's a bit of, a bit of mouth work going on up front here against Thailand by the UAE, and I'm not entirely sure how you can justify it because it's not like the Thai guys will be even remotely closely speaking English. But some of them might have a few words, but... Um, in the sledging department, it takes a reasonably intimate knowledge of English to get anything effective away, and often that can happen. The reprisal is a try to Thailand A as they beautifully found the midfield and then using sweet hands brought the music back to the close touch line and scored what could only be described as players working in concert. And after the rain, there will be sunshine. And there's sunshine out there right now. And I can tell you, from my experience of sunshine, this is the strong stuff. Look at that ball. There's one. There's two. There's three. That's got Lottie, Rocket and Buller written all over it. Good passing. Good, nice, accurate, clean passes. Out in front of the man, giving him a target to run onto. Can they do it again? Oh, he is again. Didn't do something else today.
It's not like you can't see them. No, they can't not just see them, they can't even stop them. So, if you can't congratulate yourself, who can you congratulate? And he's earned himself not only a drink, but probably a sit down as well. Seven points to nil will be how they register that effort. And potentially, he's not going to go for the sit down though. Look at this. First of all, the ground couldn't hold him. Then the tight defence couldn't stop him. And there we have it. That's what they call a try. A try to the big man. Oh. Talk about being slippery. Restart goes high. Thailand under pressure there. And, well, he's really up his game here at the moment, isn't he? They wrap it out wide. Now, have they got any cover out wide? Have they got any pace out wide? Because they'll need all of it. Thailand, he's released. He's picked up. He's gone again. The ball is still alive in Thailand. They whip it wide. Will they find a mismatch? They've got one as the big man slips back into line. But they've done well, Thailand. They've done well, the UAE, to cover that up. But they haven't done well enough to keep a cover on this bloke. And he can't get the ball away. And that's a shame. But look. A good response by Thailand, eh? After conceding the first try of the second half inside the five-minute mark now. And they went for the doctor. And he was almost home. Let's have a look here now. They've gone for... Some replacements up front. That's fair enough. It all starts up front. That might have been a Hail Mary anyway, that ball. And we all know how Hail Marys usually work, so that going to ground was well, anticipated, to be fair. Oh, it's loose. And it belongs to Ty A. And they'll take the reset as well. So, just to sure, just on three and a half minutes now, remaining in the second half. Thailand A, 10. UAE, 7. We've got one on the cooker here, folks. Thailand A threads the needle. Will he go again? Doesn't need to. Puts the step on. Click up five more for Thailand A. Seven points to 15 with the kick to come and inside three minutes. There's time, but is there for the UAE? Hard to know. Hard to know. And given the remarkable hospitality of the Thai Rugby Union, would you even want to know? I say that in jest. Although it's quite true, I'm sure the teams have found everything very much to their liking here in Phuket. It's hard to fault the place. Beautiful part of the world. There he goes. That was a pretty good pass, really, at the end. Good step. There's a lot to like about that try. There's a lot to like about that finish. And now it floats up and into clear space, and the UAE find themselves in trouble, territorially speaking.
ball out wide for UAE. He wanted to get on the gas and try the one out wide. He might do it again. He's still on his feet. There's the lob. That's still... <laughs> wow, that's superb work. That is superb pickup. That's a superb pickup. Well, I was going to commend the Thai player for putting his body on the line. And I still will, but he was unlucky. UAE struggling away through the midfield. Looks like he almost broke himself free. Finally, they bring him down. Lob over the top. The UAE get themselves in, and this will be converted to two, I suspect. And the points will be 15-14, and we don't even have 30 seconds left to play. So, as long as it doesn't go sour for Thailand from the kickoff, this should be a win to Thailand A. Eh? UAE, here's the restart. They've tapped it down in the middle. It's gone loose. And the referee calls full time. And Thailand A register a win over the UAE. And that's a big old win. That's a very good win. That's a tremendous victory for Thailand A over the UAE. That is a ripper. They should be absolutely delighted with that. The UAE on their day can stick it fairly strongly with the mid-tablers in the Asian 7 Series. But today, Thailand...
to go to the far side. Bangladesh set after them. Good tackle there by the, the Bangladesh player one-on-one. -on -one. So they've had a talk at half-time about showing a little bit more courage under fire. And it certainly worked in that exchange. Thailand have to peel off and go to the other side. So what's doing on the far line? Again, they go on the contact. Bangladesh step to them. And now they're starting to bring it forward. But that's great play from Thailand B. He's on his own. He started the song and he finished it. And Thailand B go to 22 nil in the lead. Well, encouraging to see from Bangladesh. Decided to meet fire with a bit of fire, and that's highly commended. And it's win or die trying, that's the key. And they've done superbly well. Thailand B and the resulting try. And to be fair, I thought Bangladesh might have done enough there to keep them out. But this man, here he is. Curly Ray Cyrus. The boot over the top. The fact finder goes downfield from Bangladesh. What about that one from a standing start? He, that is, he's just tossed a head fake. There's one out the back door. At least they've still got it in hand, Thailand B. Now the idea is to find a bit of space. Bangladesh have found themselves, they might find themselves short here. He looked over the top. He wasn't willing to risk it. He wanted to keep a hold of the ball. He's got a hold of the ball. They've got the ball, Thailand B. Into the midfield, looks again. He's the master at the head fake. Now he goes to kick pass. And what about that one? What about that one? Well, talk about being fairly casual. You wouldn't say he's in a flow state because flow state means you're probably doing things a little bit quicker than that. But what he is in is in the Clippy Lions class, there's no doubt about it. And for those of you who remember the great manly standoff, you'll know exactly what I mean. Pat his pockets down, I think you'll find a packet of 25s in there. What a beauty. He's only gone the kick pass here because I think he might have been too lazy to pass it. So he's got tremendous vision, even though it looks like he's so much sweat he can't actually see. And yep, he's just popped that one beautifully over the top. Well, I oh, will be a monkey's uncle. He's made that look, well, almost matter of fact. Inside two minutes. Bangladesh away through the step tackle. They're not going to cover him. Bangladesh. They'll pull one from coast to coast. Well, it's good to see they'll be good for at least one. Well, he's, no, he's put the ball down, pal. Don't worry about that. And that's a try, though. That is a try for Bangladesh. Maybe a little bit anticlimactic. With 29 points to five. But a try is a try nonetheless. The restart now with just over 60 seconds on the clock. Thailand B have built up a fairly significant lead here over 
Bangladesh. That was held too, according to the referee. He was, of course, absolutely right. Bangladesh now. Still with ball at hand, looking for some options. That's gone backwards to the referee. Good chop tackle there. Thailand pressed them up a little bit harder. Pushed them back a little bit further. Ball goes a little bit wider. Players left on his own. He's isolated. There's the hooter. Oh, dear. And Thailand again picking them off now. Full time and Thailand B take the win over Bangladesh. Five points to nil. A good win by the local team. Well, if the day's form guides anything to go by, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one. This is the one. Singapore in the red and black. Chinese Taipei in the all white with blue stripe. And both of these teams, regular features on the Asia Rugby 7 series prior to COVID. Now here in Phuket for the Phuket 7s. Asia Rugby Sevens Trophy. Singapore, two up, two down. Pounced out of the box early on. Chinese Taipei have done just the same. And this could be a fascinating encounter. Early possession, the Chinese Taipei. But Singapore, they seem to have found another gear in the time that we've been away from sevens. They are certainly up for it. That's been lost forward. And some familiar faces in this Chinese Taipei outfit. Here's one of them. They've got loads of pace, they're explosive. Well, gee, they put on some kilos, these guys. But Singapore, as we say that, they show a sharpness and an eagerness that maybe hasn't been seen before. It certainly feels like I'm looking at something new, improved by Singapore as they... Take it out wide, and he's gone fully into touch. So that was a wasted opportunity by the Singaporeans. Not forgetting that the Singapore Sevens is being played out this weekend on the HFCC World Series. The Lion City stop, but it's a favourite.
Chinese Taipei up high for the ball. Where will they attack? Doesn't look like they, they will go for the middle. They do go for the middle. Solid defence, though. Good shape by Singapore. Chinese Taipei. They try and rock it out to the centre again. That's good defence. That's good play by Singapore. Now they put it on the... Chinese Taipei, a little bit on the back foot. But they might have cracked the code here. Again, they... Singaporean defenders, where do they come from? It's like they're hiding in the dirt. There's a toe to it. Oh, watch up, watch out, watch out. The ball is there, the ball is theirs. And Singapore hold it. And the foot goes back, that's classy. That's well done. That's a penalty. And the pressure goes on again. So Chinese Taipei, now it's their time. To turn and watch and be cautious. Singapore very nearly sliced straight through. Combined effort there to turn it. Well, they've controlled that well. Plucked out of the air for the interception, and that was crucial because I think that one was going between the sticks. And now Chinese Taipei start to get down to business. Penalty, though. Tap and go by Singapore. Any support? Any support at all? None to speak of. Another penalty, in fact. Now back to 10. Which one will they go here? This will be a what? This will be a who? This will be a where? This will be a what? Well, this will be a job down the laundry about the night, that's for sure. There's the hop step. Oh, they left it behind and they'll be dirty on themselves. Singapore. I really want to try and catch those. Chinese Taipei, they go the wide side, they go the far side. Oh, oh what about that for a change-up? Looked them in the eye and said, let's go. But step for step, he was covered off by the Singapore player. He's now suffering from the old-fashioned mud in the eye. You have to get it back together now. Singapore on a run down the far side. Chinese Taipei. They can just strengthen, get some space. Here's the bloke with mud in his eye. He's made a miraculous recovery. Turnover for not releasing. Well, they are running around like headless chickens at the moment, these guys. Sooner or later, the cork's going to pop. And there it goes. Chinese Taipei who, by the books, might have been the favourite of these two teams coming into this from a historical context, have taken an age to score one on Singapore, and that speaks volume about this team that's come out of Lions City for the Phuket Sevens. One minute, 30 left and a half, 60 seconds for the conversion. Chinese Taipei have been made to sweat and sweat hard by Singapore and they're still not in the clear. Finally, fin find them, for finally managed to find someone with a fresh pair of legs by the look of it. Chinese Taipei 
Straight back down and back on the job, and he's come through, and they want to walk him back 10. If he's not careful, he might get the card to go with it. Usually they come as a set. You get two of them, you get the weekend off. Here's the straighten. He puts the hammer down on that. It's not coming through. Now they'll look for some space out wide, but they've got the sweeper in there as well. Do Chinese Taipei. Singapore now, make the move. Through the gap, watch. How did he almost get through that? That's one for the experts, but that one isn't. That's a clear offence. You simply can't do that. from a very bad position. Now, if this ball sits up and it adds, oh, they want to go to the TMO. We're not sure about that one. That's time he'll call. Now, I don't know if he's made it all the way there. You know what, they? It doesn't really matter what I think. They've called TMO, so I'm happy to play the role, even though it's quite unofficial and not the one you're really interested in. But let me have a go at it anyway. We are primarily on a single camera shoot here, so let's have a wee look. We're going tight. Now, he's taken that, and he's got nowhere near it as far as I can tell. And I don't like being the bearer of bad news. I'd rather not let the truth get in the way of a good story. The story will prevail, and the prevailing story is this, that after the first half, it is Chinese Taipei that lead by seven, and Singapore that could have been two behind, but aren't. He's done well. He's kept himself in the action here, but... Not enough there, as far as I'm concerned. Half time. It is Chinese Taipei 7, Singapore 0. Back with the second half. Chinese Taipei leading Singapore. Seven points to nil. And by no means uh, Singapore out of this. And by no means Chinese Taipei in the clear. 
Where did they go? Singapore. Chinese Taipei, that's another penalty at the breakdown that they've let away. And at some point, somewhere, somehow, someone is going to have to say, well, what about a card? What about a card, referee? What about a cheeky old card just to get them down to six? Give us some advantage here. Still, Singapore may not even need it. Here they go now. Ten outside the 22. Replacement being made in Singapore. They lead off the set piece. Just over five minutes now to five and eight points. Down their way to the 22. Now three and the seven. That means there's four out here. There should be plenty of Singapore players out here. There is. There's two stacked wide. He's done well. Both hands. And they've got, well, it's a good robust defence by Chinese Taipei. Look again. It's well done by Chinese Taipei. The fence has got good shape. The counter ruck went down a treat. They've taken the ball. They've taken the penalty. They've taken the yards. They might take the points here if they can take a little bit more space. Snatched away by Singapore. Well, they're running into each other like bumper cars here. Look out now. Up to the 22. We're looking for anybody. Somebody. Well, it was, goodness gracious me, it was a case of the late arrival. And they all arrived late, and no one was giving way. There were no hand signals, there was nothing. And this bloke is out cold. Or is he? Yes, he is. Now, what's happened to old Charlie Brown here? He might have taken some bloke square on the head here. Yep. He's taken the knee right on top of the head. And he looks like the... Well, I might have been the shoulder even, but let me tell you what. He saw the ball bounce clear and he thought, oh, we'll have a look at that. And he has paid the price big time. Well, my word, that's tough. Three minutes remain. Singapore hunting for their points. Chinese Taipei, they'll be all about delaying tactics at the moment. So all they've got to do is delay the score long enough and prevent there actually being enough time for it to go down. And they go, those Singapore, and they bring it round, and that's put them within a shake of drawing it up. Seven points to five. My word. Good heavens. And the fans from Singapore will have moved right to the edge of their seats. The kick is irrelevant. They need a second score. And there it is. 7-0, no, it's all tied up. Well, we said this could be the humdinger today. And so far, so good. 100 seconds remain. And this day one clash between Singapore and Chinese Taipei. Singapore, beautifully taken. They've contested it well. They've got the ball. They've shown it now. They're on the 22. One pass. 
didn't need a second. And Singapore, strike for a second try. It's 12 0. It's kickable. This should be 14. With 60 seconds left to play. Now, what do you do? Now, what does experience tell you, Singapore? Do you plant one long from the kickoff and box them down into the corner? Or do you contest it on a short one and try and win it back? Either way, Chinese Taipei are going to have the ball coming at them. And if there's one team that have been able to take it coast to coast from time to time, then it's those men wearing white and blue. So, 14-7, Singapore, Chinese Taipei. It was the one to wait for all day. Seriously, it was. They didn't go long, they didn't go short. And they didn't pick it up either, Chinese Taipei. And now it's a Singapore ball with less than 10 seconds remaining. And you can pat this one on the back and call it yours, Singapore. The Lion City roars as they walk off with a beauty over Chinese Taipei, 14-7, just waiting for the ref to put the seal on it. And this is going to be a very, very handy victory in the scheme of things for the Singapore Men's Sevens program. Advantage to Chinese Taipei. They're going to get one last throw of the dice. Whoop, whoop. He's tried it. It hasn't worked. Good, good move with all this good shifty work by Chinese Taipei. And this is even better work by Chinese Taipei. And if he forces them wide, which he's going to do, Singapore, they may well have saved themselves the game and he sort of knows it even though he's run it in it's a try it's 12 points to 14 two points the difference a draw is going to come by way of the conversion but guess what even for the old game of sevens this is going to be a tough conversion look at him go through now he did this at the end of the first half as well Showed a clean set of heels, but he just wasn't fast enough to take it all the way around. Chinese Taipei aimed to draw it up, but they can't draw it up. And Singapore hang it up as a win over Chinese Taipei at the Phuket Sevens. Oh. Heavens above. Both teams, splendid effort today. What a win for Singapore. Top work. Final official, Singapore 14, Chinese Taipei 12. And now we're back to the Women's International Invitational. It is Thailand taking on the UAE and this Thailand A team take a deep breath before pressing the button and letting the beast loose. Underway with first half action. UAE playing in the wide, Thailand in the yellow. And straight away, Thailand goes seeking the services of the secret weapon, who is no longer a secret. There'll be defensive coaches all over Asia. There'll be 
go, well, I don't know. I hope they don't find another one like her. UAE with the ball now. Cut back, Tron. Look at that. Great over the ball. Superior work over the ball. And a little bit of an injury concern here for Thailand, eh? Perhaps a stinger. Take one right on top of the shoulder there. Very pleasant feeling. There it is. First contact of the day. Yeah. And no qualms about getting in there. They made a great hit. Good contact. And the UAE looking to play this game at pace, which is an interesting decision against. The Thailand side, a very interesting decision indeed, and they go looking, they can't find anything though. No release was the call from the referee, not from the VAC was the call from the referee, and if they've said it once already, I've said it twice, well, three or four times this hour. Referee is correct every time. Sorry, the UAE. rumbling and snubbling up to halfway and the early energy giving way now to a little bit more power. Thailand. Look at this. Now they've picked off possession. Now they're starting to move it into space. UAE having been forced to make the tackles now. Referee brings it back to exactly where she wants it, which is in the right place. Thailand, two and a half minutes remaining. No score in the game as yet. No significant periods of possession, to be honest. Now well, nearly there for Thailand, and now they make a run. Now they take it down the short side. Now the short side opens up, and now the game offers points, and Thailand A take the points, similar to the way one would take lollies from a child. Out wide, there is the conversion attempt. Well struck. Must have been just off. Not 
Let's have a look here. One round the outside. Didn't need anyone really threatening, although they had to keep their eye on the lady out wide. If they don't, next time they'll see it, she'll be under the sticks. That didn't quite go the 10, and Thailand will be forced to bring that back for the restart. One minute remains. 5 0 the score. UAE trailing Thailand. Thailand A wins them the ball. Step on the inside. Gas on the outside. And points on the try line. UAE 0, no, Thailand 10. And coming up so only a half a dozen seconds left. Division attempt unsuccessful half time. Thailand 18, UAE 0 and when we return the second half of this very, very interesting all night. I've got one more part to play here. Sorry. There is the hooter. He <laughs> starts met with a huge challenge. That's two great tackles from Thailand. One over the ball. Gee whiz, the ID breakdown or the breakdown ID at the moment. Very, very good. By this Thai lady side, half time's the call, and there it is. 10 0, Thailand A leading the UAE here in Dubai. I mean, excuse me, here in Phuket. Goodness gracious me, must be the heat.
Welcome back to the second half. Second last game of the day. At the conclusion of this, Singapore will take on the Briars of Australia, or Sydney, I should say. Sydney is of Australia, but you know what I mean. And that will conclude the action for the day out of Phuket. Is Thailand now. Thailand A, that is. Bring it into the midfield and watch out, watch out. UAE. Oh, they've done well to get in this girl's way. I don't know how they've done it, but I'll tell you what, they've done it slowly. Went for the quick hands on. There might have been a little bit offside play there. Was there? No. Even the Thai women looking a little bit fatigued, a little bit sweaty, a little bit messy. They work hard. They love to work hard. Thailand, climb high. Through the middle they go. Look out. Terrific work by Thailand, A. Eh? Now they're looking from pace on the far side. Oh, beautiful work. Thailand, superb work from Thailand. She tripped herself up on the way and sees the funny side of it. And why wouldn't you smile? It's good to see a smile or two, even in the serious rugby. But well played, Thailand. Beautiful work. Threw the line out to start with. Dragged the defence one way. Then two good passes. And then a lovely little dummy on the inside. Used the eyes, the hands, the whole lot. And Thailand add two to make it 17 points to nil. And that is a terrific score. Look at this one. Oh! And the change up to go with it. <laughs> hey, look at that. Blue Sancho on the way in. Oh, well. Robin's racing. That's what they say. The restart. It's, look at it. It's got snow on it. Comes back for Thailand. And they win the ball again. These Thai ladies. The referee will bring it back for... A, Set piece restart, just over three minutes. One more game to go today, one more game. Put in Thailand. Wall out wide and shut the gate because, like greased lightning, the Thailand went out. Talk about fast. Conversion, not exactly online, and in fact, missed. But look at this. And <laughs> it's no one else than Brain. Pretty to watch. Just absolutely exciting to watch. There is 
no substitute for gas. And when you've got the gas, you can have the swag. It is that simple. So Thailand, they tried out wide here. They might have found their bit of clear running. They did indeed. Now they're starting to steamroll. The UAE. And this is the natural order of things between these two nations at Asia Rugby 7 Series level. No real <coughs> surprise. Not since the introduction of Roddy Rock and Buller as head coach have we've seen a team from really outside Hong Kong, Singapore, China. Well, hang on. Let's just say that probably Japan, China, Hong Kong. And there's been a fairly ex there's been an exclusive nature about those top three. Coach Rock and Buller's come along and the Thai women have responded massively to the input of the head coach, the former New Zealand star. And now Thailand can quite easily count themselves in that top group of Asian nations when it comes to sevens and the referees said that is time and it's been plenty of time too. And they haven't had a chance to score. And the UAE concede graciously to Thailand A. 27 points to nil. Thailand reigns supreme. Up next, Singapore taking on the Briars. And at the end of this game, it will be curtains for the day. We'll be back tomorrow morning, Thailand, saying goodbye for the afternoon. Wonderful performance on day one. Full-time official 27-0 over the UAE. And this is the final game of the day. Singapore taking on the Briars from Sydney. And there she is, big hitter number one. Well, cheers and claps and hoots and whistles for the Briars from Sydney Town as well they might be. Singapore, ready for a start. And if they can start confidently, Singapore, they could find some points early. And the Briars, take it calmly. And they've been practicing to spread the ball wide. So let's hopefully see them spread the ball wide. I mean, that's the key. That would be the key. If you're going to practice like that, you might as well play like that. So, a bit of hip action there as they try and take the space in Singapore. Fire it out wide. Step goes on on the outside. Some bigger bodies over there, the Briars. They've got some advantage in that area. There's one thing we do know about Singapore. I've sung their praises before in this situation. You will never find a team with more guts to just sit there and grind it out with you. They will go inch for inch, mile after mile, day after day, the Singapore women. And they will wear you down eventually. If the game of sevens was a marathon, 
You were probably looking at the world champions. But it's not. Break away down the grandstand touchline by the Briars. Oh, she's in the clear. The Briars, will they go there? Oh, get there. That's a try for the Briars. And they'll be celebrating that one, and why wouldn't you? There'll be desperate searches on YouTube to find this one, I think, from the team hotel. And if this gets slotted, oh, we won't worry about this one. Maybe the next one. And look at this. Talk about good habits. Talk about great habits. There's picking up your own tea and then there's fielding your own kick. And I rate that pretty highly. The Briars, in for a beauty. Restart from the Briars, taken by Singapore. They take it wide to the far touchline. Beaten three, taking on number four. Pops up now, they're in trouble, the Briars. Looks wide, good hands. Singapore, have you got pace? Not enough. Briars, cover it off. Now, the Briars, they need to reset. Singapore's taken yards off them and it's come off the knees. Play to the whistles, the call. There wasn't, well, you're going to blow the whistle, you're going to blow it loud, don't you? As the Briars stave off a bit of interest from Singapore, 5 0 the score, three and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Scrum, less than tidy. In fact, yep, it's a bit of a mess. In fact, it's an awful mess. Singapore wide now. The Briars, they haven't covered themselves with any glory here. It's five all as Singapore come back. With the kick to come, and it's in a reasonably attractive spot. And when I say it's in an attractive spot, I mean it looks doable. Ultimately, though, it was not as doable as first thought. And probably something to do with it being a long way away. Five all the score. Look at that. Good at it in a way. Good gas. And they took all three Briars players on and done a lot of them. Pick up and go. Singapore, if it goes to hand, it's good. It's good for Singapore. Two hands. Now the go up over the 22. Keeps her feet well. Two Briars players off their feet. Three in the contact area. They've turned it around. No one's holding it. She's going to get thrown around again. 
and now the ball comes clear. So, with a couple of good passes, the Briars might find themselves in a bit of trouble. The second one never came. The second one didn't have to come because the change up in pace was in the pocket. And she's followed her right to the end. 20 seconds remain in the first half. And this one is in a beautiful spot. should be no qualms about the conversion on this occasion. You can dot the I and cross the T. It is over. 12-5. Singapore lead the Briars. Nothing left on the first half clock. And, uh, oh, see ya. A little rub in the face there. It's a la Richard Lowe on Paul Carrozza. There's the twofer. And the restart of the final act of, of the first half. Take it to the sideline, somebody, anybody. Not really Singapore's way, though, is it? They wouldn't be the kind of team that just kicked the ball out for the hell of it. Bet they wish they were now, they. Great try, great intercept try. Opportunistic try, doesn't really matter. It's the second try, and it brings them back, the Briars. And in the old song, hey, don't forget about me. First half action concludes. The Briars, a remarkably improved performance in their second game. Well, they could have a wee head hunting mission going on here, the Briars. Singapore 12, the Briars 10. We'll be back with the second half soon. Second half action. Final game of the day here at the Phuket Sevens. You're watching the Phuket International Invitational for Women. The Briars taking on Singapore, the girls, the women of the Lion City. Where the current Singapore Sevens was being played at the moment. 
in progress. Match 18, Ireland versus France. France currently leading that game 12-0. Prior to that, the Fijians really have arrived at the Singapore Sevens. Pool D clash with Japan, winning that 62 points to nil. And South Africa also put their hands up as a dominant force. And the Singapore Sevens, 26-5 over Kenya. But at the moment, in progress, Ireland, the giant killers, nil. France, 12. Game 19 will be Wales versus New Zealand or Cymru versus Aotearoa. Back live to Phuket in Singapore. Almost split them up the middle. She's gone for the hair. And even in the UFC, that's an illegal grip. And didn't take too much time to see the colour of the cord. As Tony Gregg would say. That young lazy has been royally hoisted from the game. Now, down to six. And believe you me, when you're down to six and the game designed for seven, things are less than optimal. <laughs> Try for Singapore. Whoa, that's a beauty. Dial it in. Hello. <laughs> no such thing as a free phone call. But you can pretend. That is a terrific period of play for Singapore. First score off the bat in the second half. Off the back of the scrum. There's gas, there's only six, and I'm all down here. Thanks very much. Guess what? And what I might do if I get the chance is I just might get in there and. Hello, Mum. Did you see that? Top work. The briars now, ball in hand. <laughs> Ten points for the briars, 19 for Singapore. Just over three minutes remaining in the play. And this is the last game of the day. We resume tomorrow to... 0900 in the morning for day two of this Asia Rugby Sevens Trophy and the Phuket International Invitational. And Singapore now starting to do a bit of a number on the Briars from Sydney Town. Yes, they've all got the signals. And that's a tremendous score. It's good to see some smiles after scoring too. My word. Sevens is a hard game to prepare for. It's a hard game to play. You deserve to give yourself a pat on the back and a smile if you dial one in from any area, whether it be 5 metres or 55 metres or 550 metres, like I've run a couple in my time. Here's the conversion. It's very wide of the mark. Coming down now to two minutes left in the game, 24-10. Singapore leading the Briars.
Oh, Singapore through the gap there. The Briars starting to look a little bit wilted in this hot Phuket sun. And Singapore run another one in. I've uh, done it twice now. I need a new one, she's saying. Inside 60 seconds. Singapore have built themselves up a tremendous lead and here's the latest try and she goes terrific work smiles are plenty oh it's fun it can be fun coming up and I think that's full time well, tomorrow morning we return here to Suracle Stadium for day two of the Phuket Sevens, the Asia Rugby Sevens Trophy for men and the Phuket International Invitational Sevens for women. And there they are, the winners of the last game of the day, Singapore over the Briars. Full-time and official, 29 points Singapore, 10 points to the Briars on behalf of the production team and the organising staff of the Thai Rugby Union. This is Jed Thayan offering you, wherever you are, a very good evening, a very good morning and a very, very warm goodbye. We'll see you tomorrow, live and direct from the Phuket Sevens.